Let's learn how to represent numbers without roots on a number line. So let us straight away go to an example. Represent 5 by 3 and minus 5 by 3 on a number line. So in order to represent 5 by 3 and minus 5 by 3 on a number line, we first draw a number line which extends on both the sides. Let's mark the origin O right in the middle. Now all we have to do is mark 5 on both the sides. So right hand side let us mark 5 here. So this is a positive 5 and the left hand side let us mark 5 here. This is the negative side. Let us name this P and Q. But we need 5 divided by 3 and minus 5 divided by 3. Now marking 5 here on the right hand side of 0 which is the origin and marking 5 that is minus 5 on the left hand side indicates that this distance is 5. The magnitude of this distance is 5. So now here the question says it is 5 by 3. Therefore, let us divide this line. Let us divide this line into three equal parts. So this is a third of 5. This is a third of 5. This is a third of 5. And this is a third of 5. So the first third will be from 0 to this point and therefore we can mark this as 5 by 3 and here this will be minus 5 by 3 and let us name these a b therefore minus 5 by 3 and 5 by 3 the points here these points represent minus 5 by 3 and 5 by 3 on a number line let us go to another example represent 8 by 5 and minus 8 by 5 so let us draw a number line again the center is the origin or 0 or o so now let us mark a random point 8 on the right hand side and the same distance on the left hand side as on the right hand side and mark that as minus 8. So now here 8 is divided by 5. So let us divide this distance, this distance into 5 equal parts from the 0. So here is 1, here is 2, here is 3, here is 4 and here is 5. Yeah. So similarly here we'll have to divide first part, second part, third part, fourth and the fifth. The first fifth of 8 will definitely lie here that is 8 by 5 and minus 8 by 5. So this point you just have to add another fifth to this, this point add another fifth to this, this point add another fifth to this and it goes on. But we need 8 by 5 and minus 8 by 5 and here they are. So these two points on the number line represent minus 8 by 5 and 8 by 5.